Hello guys, after the warm up today I'm gonna test uh, and compare the uh, Duramo Speed uh, versus the Adit Zero SL. I will check the uh, running stress, the efficiency, the response, the energy return of both shoes using also the new Stride Duo uh, 3D uh, Fit Path visualization. So let's check it out. As always, I'm gonna test the shoes in seven different repeats. Here are the different phases in this table. And it is also important to know that I'm going to update the ebook uh, with this new cool visualization. Uh, this ebook, uh, which you can download uh, in the link down below, you can find all the shoes uh, I tested recently and uh, all the results. Before to start, uh, just a recap about the metrics. Uh, I will focus on uh, for this comparison. First of all, the leg spring uh, stiffness, higher values uh, mean uh, better running economy, and then the impact loading rate, the higher values uh, mean higher stress uh, to the lower body, very important for this comparison. And uh, at the end, I will collect also the response and uh, vertical oscillation. So let's start. As you can see guys, at this pace, the slowest one, the Adit Zero SL, outperforms the Duramo in almost all the metrics, has a better energy return, the same running stress, a better response, and a lower vertical oscillation. But in comparison to the other shoes in this table, the SL underperforms in almost all the metrics. We can also see the better energy return looking at the kickback height in the feedback visualization here. test the running stress is higher than the previous one but the same for both uh, models and they said it's better than the Duramo in all the other metrics uh, but still underperforms in comparison all the other models in this table let's check also the uh, feed path Let's go ahead with a faster pace. Again, the running stress is higher than the previous one because we are faster and the impact in each stride is uh, higher. And surprisingly, the Duramo has a higher stress than the SL. So in this case, the SL outperforms the Duramo speed in all the metrics, uh, but still underperforms all the other models in this table for almost all the metrics. Only for the stress, uh, the SL is better than the Adios 8 and the Takumi Sen as well. So great result, actually. Let's cross-check the fit path. At this pace, the SL has the same stress than uh, the Duramo, but lower than the Adios 8 and the Takumi Sen, and it has a better energy return, as uh, we can see from the fit path uh, as well. Increasing the pace, wow, the SL still outperforms uh, the Duramo as in the previous test uh, for all the metrics. Uh, in terms of energy return, the other models are still better, but uh, we can see from the fit path that actually both models, uh, SL and the Duramo, allow me to keep my running technique under control. Let's check now if increasing the pace, this is still valid. Well, I did not expect that, same as the previous test, the SL still outperforms the Duramo in all the metrics and even my running technique looks uh, pretty good yet uh, from uh, the fit path. But I know, I know guys, that in the last test for sure something will change. This is the faster repeat, but actually no big changes guys. Still, the SL outperforms the Duramo in all the metrics, and the running technique looks uh, pretty good as well. 
Wow, that's great. And the stress of the SL and the Duramo are lower than the Adios 8 and the Takumi Sen. So guys, I did not expect that uh, if you watched my previous video about the uh, Adizero SL, uh, you know that I regard this shoe uh, even before the uh, 100 miles uh, target because it is too stiff in the forefoot uh, and I'm not able to run without having uh, any injuries. So this test today shows again the difference between the feeling and the real uh, uh, running dynamic uh, uh, numbers. All the metrics we have collected and uh, seen today allows me to have a better uh, running technique and uh, also a more efficient run, uh, so keeping my uh, heart rate lower. But if you ask me which shoe I prefer, it is not the SL. I prefer to run with the Duramo Speed. So I believe there is a really important factor in comparing the shoes that is not only in the numbers, but uh, especially how the uh, shoe fits to your uh, feet. So that's why I'm saying all the time, go to the shop and try the shoe uh, directly. If you don't feel comfortable to run uh, in a specific model, then all the running uh, metrics uh, lose importance. So the ideal model is the model that fits well with your running technique, is uh, comfortable for you, and of course it has also great running dynamic uh, uh, results, or at least better than the other models. So that is my conclusion for today's test, guys. I hope it was uh, uh, useful. Don't forget to support the channel and my work, leaving a like, sharing the video with your friends, subscribe if you haven't yet, and activate the notification bell so you are notified anytime I upload a new video. It is for free for you, but it's a huge support for me and for the channel. If you have any question, please raise your question in the comment down below. And as always, as always, guys, thank you for watching. Until the next time, keep running. Ciao.